What's up guys? Today I'm playing True North in GS Pro designed by the great Bangini. I'm using my FlightScope Mevo Plus and we're going to see what we can do today on the front nine. I've actually never played the front nine on this course, so we're going to check it out. Now, there is another version of True North on Run Pud Run's Patreon. That is not this. This is the course that's available to anyone in GS Pro. That's what I'm playing today. I've never played this course in real life, but my dad has. Last year, he went on a golf trip with a bunch of buddies. They played True North, and he got his first hole-in-one ever in 30-plus years of playing golf. We have Bob Heckeroff at True North Golf Club. He has just had his first ever hole in one. What do you say, Bobby? Well, I had choked up five wood. It was uh, 215 and uh, hit the green and disappeared. All right, congratulations. We'll see if I can get one today as well to match him on the simulator. All right, hole number one, we're actually starting with a par five. Looks straight away from the tee shot, but then uh, green over there around the corner to the left. Pretty open fairway, but very wooded if you somehow hit a wild shot, which I'm a little bit worried about right now. I am using a Titleist RCT ball, as I always do with the Mevo Plus, to try and get the best possible spin numbers. Little bit hooky. Gonna be on the left side blocked a little bit, looks like. Looks pretty risky here to try and hook a three wood or something around the corner there. All right, I'm just gonna try and lay up a wedge here and give myself a good look into the green on my third shot. Pretty much it. All right, we got 89 yards into this flag. Looks pretty straightforward. We're gonna go for about 85. Too much. Not terrible, just too much. All right, hole number two, par four. Looks like we got water up there on the left side of the green. We'll see where my tee shot is gonna have to end up here. Yeah, it looks like there's kind of a break in the fairway there. Oh, it's way downhill, 26 yards downhill. So it would be great if I could hit a long one, I think, and get past that break in the fairway. But even if I don't, I don't think it's gonna hurt too much. Pushed it out to the right. I was doing that the whole time I was warming up. Somehow I need to get lucky. That was actually lucky. Kicked it out of the trees a little bit backwards. Doesn't leave me with an easy shot though. 173, down 17. Playing about 156, but we're in the rough. And really a side hill lie here. So I'm gonna wait, aim way over here to the right. A lot of variables in this shot. We'll see how good my guessing is. Not the greatest contact there. And man, that really did not start as left as I thought it would. Had a fairly straight ball flight. I kind of thought that was gonna start much more left. All right, little chip here from the rough. And safe par. All right, hole number three. This is the hole where my dad made his first hole in one ever in his life. Right here, it's playing 189 yards. Don't know exactly the distance that he was playing that day, but uh, definitely not an easy par three. And this hole location does not look very accessible. Does not look like a good chance for a hole in one right here. Uh, I think I need to carry it pretty much to the flag, 189. All right, with this club, I may land short of the green, but it may give me a chance to kind of land in front of the pin and bounce just up towards the flag a little bit. So we will see. I don't think I would do this otherwise, but gotta at least give it a run, right? Uh-oh. Yep, knew that would be left right off the bat. <clears throat> Is it gonna roll back in the two putt circle? Yes, okay. <laughs> Would have hated an automatic three putt on this hole, uh, but 
didn't really sniff a hole in one either, so. All right, we got hole number four. Looks pretty straight away. We've got a single bunker right in the middle of the fairway and not much to this green. Looks like a perfect circle, maybe a little elevated. Oh, but I see, okay. So for this distance, you end up up there where the fairway ends. So I'd have to lay up, but that brings that bunker in the middle in play or else I'd have to lay way back. So I've got all these bunkers up here where my driver would land and no fairway. At the end of the fairway, I bring that bunker into play. So I'd have to lay up really, really short. I think the move is just to take my three wood and aim right at that bunker in the fairway. What are the odds that I actually end up in it? Push that one way out to the right. Nothing I can say about that. Looks like I do not have any kind of shot forward. Maybe that, not likely though. Maybe that completely sideways. You know, this is not likely, but maybe I can just kind of get it through that window. Now I'm gonna take a wedge, which will not get to the green, but it's my best chance of getting out of this deep rough. You are kind of penalized less when you have more loft. Oh no. Oh, I made it out. Lots of lag here. I apologize for the stuttering frames there. Not sure, I guess this course is really taking a toll on my laptop with the screen recording going. Usually don't have any problems if I'm not screen recording. Got 72 yards in the rough, trying to make par here. Gonna come out right. I think I wanna feel about 80 yards, like an 80 yard shot. 88. Man, that's terrible. All right, there's our first bogey. Hole number five, it's a par three. Is that super downhill maybe? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, eight yards downhill. I'm gonna land this about 148. Eight yards downhill, that means I'm gonna play it to about 140. Well, I got the 140 part right. Oh, bounce forward. Get in there. All right. Got that one back. All right, hole number six, par four. We'll see how far it is to reach that bunker there. Obviously want to stay short of that, I think. Kind of looks like a tiny green. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That bunker is definitely within reach with driver. I think we definitely take three wood here. The last time I hit my three wood, I ended up deep in the woods. Let's see if I can do better here. It's the same thing I did before. Well, that's disappointing. All right, we are in the trees, in the deep rough. Got a kind of angle that the green is blocked. I'm gonna have to take a lot of club, hopefully try and fade it in there towards the green. If it goes straight, that's fine. For reference, this is a club that goes about 185 yards, sometimes 190. So we will see with all of these factors if I'm guessing correctly here. Oh no. Yep. Did not cut at all. Jeez. But it looks like I had the distance roughly right. All right, 20 yard chip here. Okay, got the up and down. Man, I am sorry about this. I'd... But once you start playing around, you can't change the graphic settings, so I would turn it down. All right, hole number seven, another par five. Tee shot looks pretty straightforward, but then it looks like it goes straight downhill to the left, and that green is protected by a bunker and the pond right in front of it. So let's see where these distances play out. A little cramped there, but I think we can hit driver. Got a lucky kick right back to the middle of the fairway. <sighs> All right, we got a long ways left. We're definitely gonna lay up here. 207, down 20. Oh man. Okay. All right, we got 77 yards and that pin is tucked 
way up front there. I'm gonna have to try and land it a little bit at the pin or, or past it. So I'm gonna kind of think about an 80 yard shot. Way, way too much. Not really sure how that's possible. I did pull it, uh, but man, that's just way more than I was expecting. All right, hole number eight. It's another par five, and this one going back up the hill. All these long clubs, I am leaving everything out to the right. It's pissing me off quite a bit, so I am not gonna hold back here. Make sure these arms get through the shot. That was a better result. All right, we are 20 yards uphill. Green is really not possible, but we might as well try and get it as far up there as we can. See if we can do better with this three wood and not put it out in the woods for a third time. Oh my gosh, I did it a third time. <sighs> not gonna get very lucky with that one. All right, I've really, looks like I've got no shot out of here. I might as well just take a big whack at it and see what happens I'm in the deep rough. Got 75 yards. I think I'm gonna hit pretty much a full pitching wedge and see what happens. Well, it's flying. Okay. Went over the green. I'm just happy it's not still in the woods. That could have been possible. Just on the back side of the green, I'm in the rough and super downhill. I think I want to land this around 25 yards, I think, maybe a little less. And that worked out really well. All right, hole number nine, my last hole. Looks like we've got the whole front and right side of this green guarded by the water, pin way up front. Okay, we do have enough room to hit driver. Let's make it a good one, I'm a little, Frustrated, my lower back was super tight. Took me a long time to warm up before doing this, and I guess I never really did. But I'm just not getting through the shot, and I'm leaving all these longer clubs way out to the right. So, really got to speed my arms up here. Oh man, did it again. That is right of right. And I got nothing now. We are in just regular rough, but I've got nothing to aim at. I'm gonna take a five wood and try and chip it out of here. I don't feel very good about this. Well, that worked out. Still have a chance to try and save par here. 70 yards into this front pin. Can I hit a good little wedge shot here? My last one went 15 yards longer than I thought it should. Just try to finish strong. That could be good. There we go. It's a good one to finish there and save par. Finished one over on the front nine. I didn't like the way I played, but at least I finished strong with that last shot. I apologize for the stuttering there. I ended up closing the uh, advanced view on the flight scope connector and it seemed to do a little better there, but I don't know if it's gonna do that until I start playing with the screen recording going. I think a new computer should be in the plan for the near future so that I, these are, things are just not an issue at all. That's True North, the front nine, the version that is in GS Pro, used uh, flight scope Mevo Plus. If you guys are interested in Mevo Plus, the Pro Package, or the Face Impact Location add-ons, I'll put a discount code down below that you can use to save some money on any of those items from FlightScope, and uh, it will help support this channel. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.